Good morning and um, welcome to another session of uh, reflections this morning. We've been, it's, it's, we are already into the second half of the year and by his special grace I want to assure you that it's going to be all right. The question I know somebody is asking me this morning is, will I make it? Will I make it? Will I make it to the end of this year? Will I make it? Make ends meet my finances? Will my dreams be actualized? Will I get out of this hole that I find myself in? Will I ever get married? Will I ever have a child? Will this business I have built, will it make it? Is my career terminated? Will I make it financially? This oppression I have been going through for years or weeks or maybe it's just days. Will I get out of it? If your question this morning is, will I make it? The answer of the Lord for you is yes, you will. It reminds me of little children. When you pump them up and they are excited, they are going on a trip. And they are looking forward to that trip. Finally, you put them in the car or you put them on the plane and they're excited. Oh, they are talking about what they will do or who they will see. They are excited. Thirty minutes later, they ask you, Are we nearly there? Are we nearly there? <laughs> Sometimes the journey is um, a six hour journey. Sometimes it's a 10 hour journey. And within one hour they are asking, are we nearly there? You as an adult, you have an eye view or an understanding of timing and the journey. You already know how long that trip is going to take. They are whining and, and, and complaining, are we nearly there, are we nearly there, and then after a while they become really irritable. I want to go to the bathroom. I want, I want, uh, I want burgers, I want pizza. They begin to ask you for impossible things along the way. And we are like that with God. We are asking him this morning, will I make it? Am I nearly there? Yes, you will. And you are nearly there by his special grace. You seem to be on a seemingly never-ending journey. But your journey has an end. Your challenge has an expiry date. Remember, the one with whom we are doing business is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and he is also the end. With him there is no such thing as a never-ending challenge, a never-ending problem, a never-ending journey. There is no such thing 
with the one with whom we are treating. And for that person who seems to have totally lost, lost it, lost hope, that person who is fearful, I have a word for you this morning. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not. I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I told us it's the beginning of the second half of the year. And it's the time to pray. We want to sanctify the rest of the year. We want to dedicate the rest of the year to the Lord. We want to commit the rest of the year into his hand. Because whatever we commit to him, he is able to keep it. He's able to watch it. We want him to walk with us for the rest of this year. The prophecies, the promises, the revelations that you have had over time. In spite of where we are today, in spite of the uncertainty of all the things around us, the economy, the virus, in spite of all of that, God's promises, God's words, God's revelation, prophecies spoken over you are not dependent on what is happening around you. There's a higher law that is working in your life if you are a child of God. That law subsumes every other law of nature or financial or, 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 or the law of the, the economic law that guide our nations. So this morning we want to call on the Lord and thank God for his word. He said, fear not. I will start from verse 8. You are my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the descendant of Abraham, my friend. Are you a descendant of Abraham? Yes, you are by covenant. If you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you have been adopted into the commonwealth of Israel. You have become a descendant of Abraham and you have become a co here with Christ Jesus. I have chosen you. Fear not, I am with you. We are going to lift up our voices this morning and we are going to bless the Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you that I am yours. I am called by your name. Thank you, O oh God, for your covenant over my life. Your covenant of life. Your covenant of righteousness. Your covenant of peace. Your covenant of joy. Thank you, my Father. Your covenants that cannot be broken. Go ahead and appreciate him and bless him. Thank him. Because he who watches over you does not slumber and he does not sleep. Father, I am grateful. You do not slumber, you do not sleep. You watch over me. With tender mercies and loving compassion, you watch over me and I'm grateful and I'm thankful. Thank you, my Father, because I will make it. I will make it. As I walk with you, as I partner with you, I will make it. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. The journey of my life has a destination, has an ending. I will get to my destination. I will.
will make it. I will make it. My expectation will not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, I set out on a journey with you at the beginning of this year, my father. I will make it. Go ahead and pray. Declare that you will make it. His word says that as you speak it out, he said, whatever you say to my hearing, that is what I will do. And I want you to understand that as you speak those words out, heaven hears and is ready to execute what you have said. Hell is also listening to you. And the, the, the ministry of hell is to stop you in your tracks. But the devil is also listening because he wants to know what you believe. Speak out that word with confidence this morning. I will make it. I will make it. I'm not on my own on this journey. I go in the strength and in the power of the Almighty God. I go by the grace and the anointing of the Almighty. I will make it. No hell can stand on my way. No darkness can keep me down. No yoke can stop me. I will make it. By the power of him who is the beginning and the end. By the grace of him who is the almighty God, the El Shaddai, the one who is more than sufficient. I will not just make it. I will gloriously make it. I will make it with joy. I will make it with celebration. I will make it with overflowing blessings. In the name of Jesus. I will make it. I will make it. Forty years Israel wandered in the wilderness. It was as if they will never make it. But one day someone appeared to Joshua as they stood on the verge of, Joy of, of Jericho and said to him, I have come as the captain of the army of the Lord. And in a few days, the walls of Jericho came crashing down. And the end of the journey of the children of Israel to the promised land entered, ended. They entered into that promised land and started a totally new journey of covenant with God. You will make it. Go ahead and, and declare. Make those declarations with your mouth. Make them loudly. Make them powerfully. Make them convincingly. As you speak it in the ears of the Lord, he says he's going to do it. And as you declare it, hell has no power to stop. Because he that is with you is greater. The captain of the army of the Lord is with you. As we stand on this brink of Jericho, we enter in. Every wall comes crashing down. The walls of poverty. The walls of barrenness. The walls of failure. The walls of loneliness, the walls of fruitlessness, every wall, the walls of unrighteousness. Some of us have been held captive by sinful habits. He has come. The mighty 
today. We make it. In the name of Jesus. I will make it. You will make it. Gloriously we will make it. In the name of Jesus. Someone there is saying, will I dance again? I don't understand. You know, I, have to, I don't understand what that means. But you are asking as you listen. I don't know what that means to you. It's for this is specifically for somebody. That person is saying, "Will I, will I dance again?" I don't know what that means. I don't know whether you are saying that will you physically dance again, or will you rejoice again? I don't know what it is. What you are asking, will I dance again? The Lord said to tell you, you will dance. You will dance. In Jesus' name. We want to dedicate the rest of 2020 to the Lord. I want you to lift up your hands where you are. My Father and my God. This year of destiny, this year of incredible harvest, this uncommon year, this unusual year, this year of prophetic import, this year 2020, I dedicate it to you. I give this year to you, O oh God, my Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I dedicate this year to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Sanctify. Sanctify the year 2020, O oh God. Let only the good in this year let only the blessing in this year. Let only your plans and purpose for this year begin to be actualized in my life from this moment. My life, my family, my work, the works of my hand. Let only your purpose, your plan, your counsel for that which concerns me be actualized in the year 2020. I give it to you, O oh God. I will make it. I will dance again. My Father, I thank you. Because 2020 will deliver to me exactly that which you ordained it to do. And nothing coming out of darkness or hell will be able to stand against it. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Remember, continue to pray. Continue to seek the face of the Lord. These first three days of July are dedicated to the place of prayer. As you do that, the rest of 2020 will deliver to you the blessing of God. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Please go to YouTube, like us, share on Facebook, 
We are on all the platforms. Go ahead and share. Hold watch parties, even after the event. Whatever we do at 9 a.m. is always there throughout. And as you enter into this holiday weekend, take time to binge on reflection. There's so much as you binge on it. Watch over and over, back to back, one session after the other. You will find your faith level growing to possess your possessions. Good morning, everyone. See you by God's grace tomorrow. It's Pumi Odilano. Reflection.